Welcome back to Time Warner Cable's local edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz. Our guest, Steve Bradford, member of the California State Assembly. And let's face it, it was a very good night to be a Democrat in November, November 6th, I think it was, especially in California. The California State Senate and the California State Assembly went two-thirds supermajority Democratic. We expected it in the Senate, not in the Assembly. What happened? I, I think we owe a lot of credit to our speaker, mm. John Perez, for being very strategic and uh, mapping this whole election campaign out in the state of California. A lot of folks fail to understand we're the only state house in the last two election cycles to not only hold our ground, but pick right. up seats. On the Democratic side. On the Democratic side. I mean, there were seats, you know, Chris Norby in Republican Orange County, he goes down. Yes. Steve Knight's successor in the high desert is a Democrat. I mean, the Democrats won all the close contests mm -hmm. and some of the not close contests. Without a doubt. Mike Morrell almost lost in the Inland Empire. Without a doubt. What's happening? I just think we're doing a better job of reaching voters, identifying voters, messaging to voters. I think, as you see now, uh, the reach out within the Republican Party of looking at a new state director and right. someone Jim in Brulte, the general Brulte, very who, talented, very much yeah. so, and a, a guy who has demonstrated throughout his political career that he can right. work on both sides but of that, the aisle. That's what's interesting is that is the problem that the current crop of Republican legislators are not operating under the Brulte model, which was make friends, go have beers, get job done. Without a doubt. And I think you're going to see a little bit more of that now with this 12-year right. potential for this new incoming mm -hmm. class mm -hmm. uh, in this short abbreviated term limit and environment. Right. Relationships were never really fostered in a way that no allow need. you to do the, the right. deals. Some of my closest colleagues in the legislature are Republicans. But you're rare. I mean, am I right? Yeah. You know, I don't think it's very often that you've seen that those relationships. Mm -hmm. That being said, what does the Democratic Party do with its newfound power? I, I heard, I must say this, I heard a quote from J uh, Speaker John Perez. He was asked, what are you going to do with your newfound power? He had a one-word answer. Nothing. Nothing. I, I mean, I don't care what you say about John Perez. That was brilliant. It was. But come on. I don't buy it. I, what I think the Speaker was stating is that we're not going to overstep. Right. Uh, sure. Our authority. Sure. We're, we're not going to abuse the power that the people of California has but given look, us. The teachers union, they, they, you can thank them for Prop 30. Mm -hmm. You can thank the union movement for Prop 30. They're going to want some payback, mm -hmm. you know, and maybe they deserve some. Maybe and they deserve some. So do the people of California. Right. And, and, and they need thoughtful legislators to do the work that they've sent us to do. And I think we're in a position now to no longer have excuses about why we can't get right. it Right. I mean, it's all in your court. Exactly. There's no question. That begs the question, though, and about your friends on the Republican side, you don't need them for anything, but do you still bring them in? Without a doubt. I mean... What does that look like? It, it looks like having some Republicans as committee chairs. Mm. Uh, Paul Cook was it, chair it, of Veterans it, Affairs, it, exactly, now in Congress. Exactly. So, mm -hmm. you know, sharing of power in the ways that Willie Brown did in he order did. to foster good you can relationships. Say, we saw the film together, exactly. remember, in exactly. Sacramento, a film about yeah. his his time as mm -hmm. speaker. And mm -hmm. I mean, there were Republicans in that film talking about his brilliance. And, and if you go there today, there are Republicans who were there who were part of the right. throw the bomb out, throw right. him out, are wishing he was still there it's today. It's true. I mean, so. it's revolving speakers. Yeah, exactly. So do you have a sense what you'll be doing in the new session? Committee assignments out yet as we speak today? I'm still chair of Utilities and Commerce. Oh, my. So, That's yeah, a big one. Yeah, and we have a whole lot, as you've seen, the Little Hoover Report and right. all the uh, findings coming back on some of the challenges that we're going to have as Californians as we move forward to this course, new, uh, renewable energy course. policy. So we're going right. to deal with a lot of that. Okay. This year. His name is Steve Bradford. He's a member of the California State Assembly. He was recently reelected to that office for his third-ish term. I'm Brad Palmer. Thanks for watching Time Warner Cable's Local Edition.